what's going on guys it's alexa back with another video and today i'm going to talk to you guys about five ways you can actually save money on gas in particular i have my 2010 camaro ss as an example for you guys as a sports car muscle car whatever you want to call it so i just wanted to share some of my uh, opinions and topics you can take whatever i say with a grain of salt you can decide to do them you can decide not to but i just wanted to share some of the stuff that i found out that i may start to incorporate in my daily routine because i basically daily this car along with my 2011 jeep breaker so i hope you find this information useful i hope you're able to incorporate these more in your daily lives as well and i hope we are all able to save some money on gas in the future with these topics so let's go ahead and get started with today's video So trick number one that will help you save a little bit of miles per gallon while you're driving is to make sure that when you come up to a stoplight or a stop or anything like that, that when you go to take off, that you take off gently and not jackrabbit your car is the term that they use when I read the article. Um, basically, that means be very gentle on your gas pedal when you're coming from a stop to a go. So that way you're not, you know, using up unnecessary gas, just, you know, going from a start. So Try not to race people at, you know, stoplights. Easier said than done when, you know, the if you have a similar car to mine, you know, it you will probably save anywhere from 5 to maybe even 10% if you just gently accelerate when you're uh, leaving a stop sign or a stoplight or anything like that. 5 to 10% on uh, miles per gallon if you just drive a little more carefully. They use, they tried to say, make sure you drive like you have a carton of eggs under your gas pedal and I'm like okay sure I, I see what they're trying to say just basically take off gently so if you take off like this it will be a lot better than you taking off like this so just wanted to put that example out there like I said I that's gonna be something I would definitely have to work on um, this car is pretty quick. Um, it's, you know, over 400 horsepower, but less than 500. So, you know, it's, it's sporty enough, but not enough to get me straight in trouble immediately. So I do want to make a comment that I have a pedal commander. So I am able to, uh, switch in between four different modes. There's eco city sport and sport plus. Personally, since I drive this a lot, I've been leaving it in city mode. I can do plus four or minus four. So there's multiple different uh, modes that I could choose to leave it in. But I have been leaving it, like I said, in city plus two. Um, I don't want to go to eco mode because I actually think that makes the car slower than factory. And I don't want to mess with uh, anything like that. It'll make the gas pedal almost unresponsive and I don't want that. So I'm just going to leave it in city plus two, but I'm just going to try to change my driving style change my driving habits so yes just be gentle at your stops and goes as i stated before and that should definitely help you save on miles per gallon anywhere from five to ten percent so don't mind me i'm gonna pop the hood for you guys but item number two that will help you save on or basically increase your fuel efficiency would be to check your uh engine air filter and make sure that it's nice and clean so so I pop the hood. So here's my engine air filter. It's not uh, the cleanest, but it's definitely not too dirty. Um, I try to clean this every, maybe every 3,000 miles. Um, I do switch off driving this with my Jeep. So I drive this a lot, but I also drive my Jeep a lot. So I don't rack up miles on this too much. So I will be cleaning this soon and yeah of course if you clean your engine air filter your engine is getting more power is getting more efficiency so more efficiency should equal better gas mileage so just doing something as simple as that you know engine air filters are not too expensive they're usually less than twenty dollars depending on your vehicle but if you have a performance engine air filter such as this one this is K&N you can find a product where you can clean it and you can spray it with the red oil so that way it keeps the dirt um, it prevents it from getting inside of the filter itself so 
just cleaning this maybe once or twice a year will definitely help on performance. I remember I cleaned it one time after a long gap, longer than it should have been, <laughs> and I noticed an increase in performance. So I definitely know that that works. And it should, if it increases power and performance, it should increase fuel efficiency as well because your engine is breathing at its uh, optimum breathing power, I should say. It's getting the most air with a clean air filter. So definitely check on your engine air filter. And uh, while you're at it, I would say check on your cabin air filter as well. That's not too hard to get to. Mine is up in that corner right there to change. So, yep, good to have a good breathing engine while you have that. So that's another way. All right, so I have a little bit of information pulled up on my dash for you guys. Ignore the check engine light. It goes away when I turn the vehicle on. But this is my average vehicle speed. The reason it's so low is because I do some city driving because that's where I work. And if I go to the average fuel economy, I'm currently getting 17.8 miles per gallon. So when I start to implement some of these things that I mentioned in this video to you guys, I'm gonna monitor to see if my miles per gallon can at least maybe get up to 18.0 or something like that. You know, these are pretty minor adjustments. And like I said, they're only saving about 5%, but if you do all of the things that I mentioned, maybe it would save you even more miles per gallon, even more money on gas. So. Um, but the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, another driving style when you're uh, driving. So the reason I go back to the average vehicle speed is because they say every five miles an hour over 70 miles an hour when you're driving is using anywhere from more than five to 10% on fuel. So basically don't speed <laughs> is what they're saying. Don't speed. Um, but 70 miles per hour is when your car really starts to um, eat up more fuel when you start to go over that speed. So once again, with the car that I have, it's a little tough. I'm not saying that I'm a speeder, but I'm just saying, you know, and I feel like, you know, for a lot of other people that have places to be or people that have to keep up with traffic, just keep in mind that going over 70 miles an hour is going to be, is going to start to become more wear and tear on your fuel consumption. So every five miles an hour over 70 is gonna start to eat up your gas anywhere from five to 10%, depending on what type of vehicle you have. So I guess they say five to 10%, depending on if you have a car or a truck, you know, depending on what your average fuel economy is. So basically don't speed, easier said than done, but yeah, <laughs> that's thing number three. And tip number four would be to use a fuel system cleaner so for example, I have used Tecron before. It claims to help clean out your fuel injectors. It claims to help increase horsepower, increase performance and fuel efficiency. And it should help increase your miles per gallon that you consume. So um, like I said, Tecron is just one example, but I have used it on both of my vehicles. The first time I used it in my Jeep after owning it, I definitely noticed an improvement on performance. So I use the same thing in the car, but since the car only has about 64,000 miles, I didn't really notice a, a difference because I guess the fuel injectors are still, you know, performing pretty well, still pretty decent, not too dirty. But I think with the Jeep, I have about 97,000 miles on that one. So I think that one definitely needed it. So any fuel system cleaner, you can go with whichever brand you prefer. You can start to look up the benefits and maybe kind of compare, but fuel system cleaners, should help give you more uh, miles per gallon and fuel efficiency. That is what they claim on the bottle, and I'm sure they've done some testing. So make sure you buy one of those bottles. Those bottles are usually less than $15, and if you use it on a semi-regular basis, I would, a regular basis may be another thing that's like twice a year. So the same time you clean out your air filter, your engine air filter, you can add a fuel system cleaner, and hopefully your car will be running a little bit better after that. So. That's uh, reason number four, and we'll go ahead and jump to reason number five once I start driving. So the fifth and final option that I wanted to mention to you guys on how to save money, at least at the pump, is if you guys have a wholesale store such as Costco, Sam's Club, BJ's, you guys can uh, participate in a membership where you do have to buy the membership, but it should uh, last a year long and if they have gas pumps at these stores, you're able to get discounted gas prices. At least Costco, for instance, they only have uh, regular and premium. They don't have mid-grade. But regardless, 
you guys uh, are able to get discounted gas prices. They can be anywhere from 10 cents cheaper, 15 cents, even 20 cents cheaper than most of the other places in your area. So I love getting my gas from Costco. If you don't have those places or wholesale near you, um, there is Kroger where you can get fuel points if you shop. If you spend a certain amount of money, you can get extra fuel points. I know there's a, a way you can get extra fuel points on a, I think there's a Kroger app. I don't know, I haven't used it, but if you frequently shop at Kroger, you can definitely get fuel points and those add up where you can get um, 10, 20, 30 cents off what their posted gas price is. So that really, really helps. But I just wanted to mention those options are really viable and can really help you save a few cents at the pump because as we all know, a few cents really adds up and it can really save you uh, some money. So definitely check out those store options. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of the tips and tricks that I mentioned. I hope you actually implement them. I'm going to try to implement them. But if you guys have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I also want to mention that I do have a uh, partnership with Adelphi Headlamps. It is a very bright and useful headlamp. And I did a review on it a couple videos back. So I'll be sure to link it right up here. So make sure you guys check out that headlamp. It's very useful and I'm happy that they decided to work with me. So I'd appreciate that. And there is a discount code for that that will give you 10% off. So make sure you check out that link and the information will also be in the description of this video for you. So make sure you check that out. So once again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and leave a comment in the comment section below of what you think. And I also want to know, would you consider going electric at this rate? With these crazy gas prices, does anyone consider uh, going electric in the near future? So just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I think I join everyone in saying F these gas prices. See ya.